How's it going? <laughs> Shit, I'm all fucking tangled up in here. <laughs> all right, so I'm Richard. Uh, let's give a quick round of applause to all the rest of the comedians, Flappers Comedy Club. Appreciate a lot that they put us up in here. Uh, when I first started doing this, uh, I, I was oddly surprised by how terrifying it is to uh, go up on stage in front of a bunch of people with a mic and try to make them laugh. And they actually say that you can smell fear. And I confirmed this after I accidentally scared the piss out of my roommate's dog. Um, but I only bring this up because if, if any of you smell a little fear coming from me, I apologize. Uh, this will be over soon enough, I promise. Uh, funny enough though, that would not be the first time my body has failed me. Uh, a few years ago I was on vacation with a woman. We were sailing down in Mexico. We went, came up to an island and uh, she said, hey, let's go hike up on it. Most of the islands down there are fairly deserted. So my caveman brain, I'm like, deserted island. Woo! Right? <laughs> deserted island, foreign country, I'm getting laid. <laughs> so I say my body betrayed me. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so we're hiking on this island, 45 minutes in, we're on the back side. It's all tide pools, it's beautiful. But my body gives me the early warning something's going wrong in my digestive system. Oh. Right? <laughs> so I stop in my tracks, the girl I'm with turns, she's like, what's wrong? I said, I gotta, I gotta poop. Like, it's something, it's gonna happen. And she's like, no. I said, that's happening. And I know this makes me a terrible person, but I turned around and saw a starfish. Looked like a fucking target, right? So I back up, drop my pants, I'm like aiming. And I don't know if you've ever seen the moment where a relationship ends. But as I look over at her, I see the shame in her eyes that the man that's been fucking me is now shitting in front of me. Clearly that relationship didn't work. Uh, I'm actually, I recently became single. I should have seen it. There were definitely some warning signs. Uh, every time for the last few months that she wanted to have sex, we'd go in and say, so disrobe this amazingness before you. She would stop me and ask me to turn the lights off. And I get it, I do. Nobody wants to be fucked by Jabba the Hutt, let alone watch him do it. Like I say, I get it. Like when I have sex with myself, I also turn the lights off. Uh, we went to an amusement park though, and uh, we were on one of those rides that goes up and like swirling like that. I tried to get myself in the harness, wasn't working. The kid who worked on the ride, bless his soul, came in, he's pushing, shoving, trying to get me in there. He's done everything but lubricate me with butter and use like a human shoehorn to get my ass in there. Eventually he has to tell me it's not gonna work, so I have to do what I call the walk of shame. Get up from the ride, start walking away. Tear rolls down my cheek. Uh, then I had a moment of solace, of joy, as my eyes fell upon the corn dog stand. <laughs> so I tell the girl I'm with, stay on the ride, stay on the ride, it'll be fine. So I go to the corn dog stand, I'm eating my corn dog, watching her doing this fucking thing. Tears going down my face, dripping onto my corn dog like a salty condiment. She actually offered me a uh, weight loss incentive plan where she was gonna go down on me for every pound I lost. <laughs> right? Sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Clearly food won. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why. Blowjobs, blowjobs come and go. But pizza, buffalo wings, and the corn dog are forever. <laughs> uh, my name is Richard Older. Thank you very much. <laughs>